The duty falls upon me as your sovereign to invite you to become Prime Minister and to form a government in my name. It's clear who the Queen of the Castle is. Dame Helen Mirren's no-nonsense take on Her Majesty has earned her many shiny statues, including a Best Actress Oscar and BAFTA. Keeping it very much in the royal family, she will now be awarded a Special Lifetime Achievement Award by Prince William. The BAFTA Fellowship will be handed to Dame Helen at the ceremony this Sunday. But before that, the megastar kindly met me. Dame Helen, lovely to meet you. And congratulations. Thank you, Minnie. Um, is it slightly surreal, having played the Queen so many times, that Prince William will be handing you <laughs> yes, this BAFTA? It is slightly surreal. Except, of course, you know, I don't... That's a, a role I have played. It's only a role. So, in my mind... Although, I have to say, very occasionally, I see a picture of the Queen and I think, oh, there I am. <laughs> it's like an awful sort of thing happens. As for meeting the actual Queen, Dame Helen's met her many times before and will again this Monday for a special reception for actors at Buckingham Palace. You've talked very funnily about having something called Queenitis. <laughs> for people that don't know, what are yes. the symptoms of Queenitis? Um, queen, I think we all have Queenitis. I think it's a, it's a national, um, not problem, but it, it, it's a national um, affliction, which is that... Um, I don't think there's a single person in this country who doesn't appreciate and respect the Queen. Dame Helen was presented with her Oscar in 2007 by actor Philip Seymour Hoffman. She told me addiction had robbed acting of a true talent. It's, it's just incredibly tragic to see any... Of course, when it's a high-profile actor, especially one who is so respected, who could so hold it together, in theatre, on film, who had held it together for 20 years to suddenly fall back into addiction. I think it was just an incredible lesson about the nature of addiction. Look, I am the only officer of my rank who's continually overstepped, sidestepped, whatever. In Prime Suspect, DCI Jane Tennyson may have not been bothered about BAFTAs. Dame Helen, though, was awarded one for the role. But the star told me she started her career very differently. Did you set out just to act or did you want to be famous? How did you kind of go about it? No, I didn't want to be famous. Um, I, I wanted to act. I wanted to... I did want to be a good actress. I wanted actually to be a great actress, but but it was the pursuit of that particular um, uh, effort, challenge or, you know, struggles with my own feelings of inadequacy in that direction was what constantly drove me. OK. And the Oscar winner last month gave Miley Cyrus a run for her money when she twerked while visiting Harvard University. Dame Helen, I know you're a woman of many talents. I did not know that you could twerk. <laughs> I can't twerk. I mean, I've seen I the footage. I've seen the footage. It's it. excellent twerking. <laughs> it's a very high standard of twerk. No, um, no, how no does one twerk? Miley. Is it in the wiggle? How do you execute the twerk well? <laughs> well, you have to bend your knees for start off. Okay. You know, and um, uh, <laughs> just take it from there. Dame Helen, the queen of the cinema, and now it seems twerking too. Minnie Stevenson, Channel 5 News.